We have a freaking baby goat! <laughs> With blue eyes and everything. Unfortunately, I don't see the uh, dogs. Cowboy! Hacker! Life is crazy. You never know if it'll be your first day or your last. You need to get out there and live life to the fullest because life will always throw you curveballs. It's just how you handle them. All right, guys, I'm over here. I'm gonna feed the animals, get them going. Let's get the day started. Whoa, Whoa what up, chicken laying eggs over here? All right, guys, as always, feed the goats first and then the dogs. Oh my gosh! Guys, I freaking set the shot up and I didn't even see. We have a freaking baby goat! <laughs> oh my gosh! Guys, oh I know. I, I legit counted down the days from when Jared posted the video when he got the goat and I had an alarm go off today and I came over here thinking, ah, uh, it probably won't be right. Oh my gosh, what's up? Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, Danielle is coming out here. She worked her last three nights. She's working days now, weekends only. Guys, what a huge freaking gift for her. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. We're gonna see. Uh, I just got a little, little ball sack. So, unfortunately, we got a little boy. Probably won't be keeping him, but he sure is freaking adorable. Probably was born last night or this morning because it's dry and walking around and stuff, but what a cutie with blue eyes and everything. What's up? I'm gonna go and put them back in there so I can go feed the other animals and we'll be right back. <laughs> so I was gonna look to which one the mom was, but apparently it's that one back there. Heck yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I thought this black goat right here was gonna have babies first because she's the biggest. She was hanging out in the uh, shelters over there, so I thought, oh, it's probably gonna be her. It ended up being that one back there. First time mom, very happy, had a single. I don't think it's gonna have a double. I do need to go look to make sure there wasn't a stillborn or anything like that in there. But one of my biggest fears was the dogs. Would the dogs be good with the goats? They've been raised with them since they were puppies. And look at that, just as gentle as can be. Oh, it makes my heart so freaking happy. Okay, the dreaded moment, I'm gonna go look, make sure there's no babies that didn't make it. Uh, oh, there is, unfortunately. Dang it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, so it's clearly game on. The wind's picked up, I put a shirt on so it can stay a little bit uh, warm, but I'm gonna be moving around. I need to clean all of this out, all the tools. We need to figure out the stalls in here, clean out there. Guys, hey, we just do not have time to talk. Let's just get it done. Got it all cleaned up in here, it looks great. Got the uh, doorway over there blocked off. Again, it's not perfect, just temporary to keep the animals in for now. This is looking awesome in here. As you guys saw, I took the uh, two by four off and the uh, edge of the cement was perfect. I built this little temporary 
uh, wall right here just to keep the uh, mama goat in with the baby right here and then when the other goats have more babies we'll start sticking them in here so I need to go get some hay I need to get some stuff for the babies in case they uh, aren't taking their colostrum I can't take a chance I've got to be able to make sure they're all good it's supposed to rain the next two days so the time is taken all right, just got back from tractor supply. Getting a little uh, cloudy, might rain here in a minute, which hopefully I get this done before, but I bought some compressed straw. I really wish I would've got straw from somewhere else. It's super expensive for what it is, but I needed it in the pitch. This is what I had to do. I don't have a knife on me, but this will do. There you go. So I got it all spread out here. I feel very confident right through the middle here. I didn't do as much. I did more on the sides. That way it kind of builds up and they're going to be walking through the middle anyways. I have a whole nother one just in case we need it. But I think this will do for now. Unfortunately, the winds are picking up. I think it's about to rain. This freaking sucks. But if you guys have ever had goats, you know they'll have their babies on the worst day possible with the worst weather. It's just like that every time, no matter what. Uh, and as you can hear, it's starting to rain. All right, guys, since it's starting to rain, I got the goats in here in the uh, shop. Uh, it's going to be a nightmare tonight, but I need to let them just stay in here in case they have more babies. This is the safest place. Got chickens in here and everything. I don't really care uh, if they make a mess because we can clean it later. It's all about the safety of animals. Ugh, it's just always the worst time ever. I'm just extremely happy. The little one's doing fine. Oh, we need a name for this little boy. Uh, I said at the beginning of the video, uh, we'll probably have to get rid of them. We don't want a bunch of males, but we might keep them if we uh, get his, his little things taken care of. So, if we do keep them, or even for the time being, what should we name them? So now it's just the waiting game. Let this rain go away, and we'll go check on them in a little while. Hopefully, to some new baby goats. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to go check on the... Uh, coming over here to check on the uh, goats and stuff. Hopefully they're good. And hopefully, maybe there'll be some new babies. Well, unfortunately, I don't see the uh, dogs. So hopefully they'll be right around here. All right, it's always something going on. So we'll check on these goats real fast and see how they're doing. Looks like one of them is trying to get out the freaking window. All right, so I'm not 100% sure where the dogs are at. As you can tell, goats are okay. I just need to put eyes on the baby and make sure there's no new babies in here. I saw the baby. It looks like the, all the other animals over here are doing good. So we'll go in there, we'll check on them, and then uh, we're gonna try to find Packer and Cowboy. Hopefully, they just got out and uh, they're not too far from here. Oh, I thought that was them. It's Bandit, so we'll check on them, then we'll ride around, try to call them. Y'all good? Huh? Oh, this freaking sucks, but I do see the little baby back here. He's doing great. All the goats over here are still doing good. Doing great. Chickens have climbed up there. Chickens over here. So again, I'm not oh. so again I'm not too worried about it being a mess in here. We could do that. We could fix that or whatever. Now I need to try to find the dogs. All right guys, so uh, I'm gonna ride around real quick. I'm gonna call them and uh, hopefully, they're pretty good dogs about coming back, so we're gonna look for them, but I'll answer the questions here in a minute. Why we didn't put them in the shop with the uh, goats. As you can see, the uh, little pond here is full. We're not very far from the uh, uh, shop, so uh, we did get a decent amount of rain. There's definitely puddles, it's definitely mushy. I'm really, really hoping they didn't go too far off and <sighs> we could find them because, I don't know, I think a lot of you guys realize when it rains, it pours. Cowboy! Packer! Cowboy! Back here in the uh, corner of our property, uh, this is the reality. 
our neighbor's bulldozer has been stuck because it's just been so wet lately. He needs to get that out. But we are surrounded. We have 60 acres. All over there is 160 acres. Back over here, I don't remember how much land he's got. A lot. On the other side, it's 60 acres, another 100 acres, another 200 acres. So these dogs could be anywhere. I'm going to drive around off camera and look for them. <sighs> I really have high hopes that they'll come back, though. Again, the uh, creek right here is flowing pretty good. We got a decent amount of rain. So I'm going to drive over here where our uh, track is and try to call them on the other side of our property. Yeah, boy! Back up! Dang, I thought that was them as Bandit. Back there. All right, back over here at the uh, shop. I need to see where they got out. Looks like the gate's still good. Let's check this gate. This gate's still good. Looks like the fence is kind of down on this side a little bit. Uh, it's always something, um, I don't know, unfortunately, living this lifestyle, you're going to have life being born, you're going to have death, and you're going to have missing animals and sick animals and all that. This is... Looks like the culprit here. Looks like a tree got pushed over. They're all dead. Uh, great. One day shy of uh, moving the animals, and that's normally how it freaking works out. Uh, animals will have babies on the worst possible days. Uh, animals, something will happen to them the day before you're going to do something with them. Yeah, it's just the reality of it. That's why we were trying to put the uh, tiny house on pause and all that stuff, get the animal barn, get all that stuff done. Uh, we tried to do what we can. And unfortunately, it doesn't always work out. I don't want anyone to get me wrong when I say this, but I'm glad it's the dogs that are out and not any other animals out if they had to get out because the dogs would be fine. They're together. They're a pack. Uh, Pyrenees and all that type of stuff are used to roaming. So uh, last time you guys know, Sawyer kind of roamed off. Our neighbors had them. We have awesome neighbors. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people out here do hunt, and they're not here all the time. But if someone out there sees them, they're great dogs. They're nice dogs. They'll come up to them, and uh, I'm pretty sure they'll have them in their yard. We can go get them. So as of right now, I am worried about them, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it was them if any animals had to get out because... Uh, Lambo probably would have just uh, gone off, the pigs would have gone off, chickens would have stayed here, goats, they could have had their babies out in the uh, um, woods. So again, it's not downplaying the fact that the dogs are gone, it's just more of thankful that it wasn't, just thankful that it wasn't worse. Oh, uh, this uh, rain barrel was completely empty and now it's full. So got rain water, that's how much it rained around here. So Danielle will be coming out here in just a minute. Uh, she worked three in a row, three nights. She's tired. She was sleeping. Uh, I was very, very excited for her to see baby goats. I'm not excited to tell her that uh, one of them passed away, and I'm not excited to say that the dogs uh, got out. But that is the reality. Um, some people will judge. Some people will leave mean comments and, and all of that. That's fine. But uh, anyone out there that has actually lived this li lifestyle, you know that this is how it plays out. The animals will give birth at the, at the worst time possible. Uh, guardian dogs will get out and roam. And some of them are uh, still burst whenever they come out. So it's just the reality of it. I'm exhausted. Today was a crazy day. Danielle should be out here in a little while. Um, we're going to get the animals moved. We're going to do all that. And uh, the livestock trailer, we worked on that in our spare time, as you guys uh, heard in the last video. I don't even know what Lucy's chewing on over here. But... Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna take a break and hopefully when Danielle gets here, we can get it all figured out. out. All right, I was editing and I forgot to uh, talk about the dogs. I was just so caught up in everything. Uh, we didn't put the dogs in the uh, shop with them just in case they went wild. Last time we put the dogs in the shop when it rained, uh, we had the tornado warnings. They went a little crazy. I wanted them to be separate from the goats in case they had the babies. I didn't want anything to happen. Uh, unfortunately, it happened where they got out it just sucks absolutely sucks i wish things would have changed but that's why we did that it wasn't to uh you know neglect them or anything it was just a very um unfortunate situation that uh, i thought was going to work out in our favor and it didn't so fortunately that happened danielle should be here any minute i'm going to edit this video i'm going to try to get this out for you guys today i am mentally exhausted i'm going to feel a lot better when danielle's here we can uh, rack our brains and everything get stuff done make sure the animals are good and pray and fingers crossed guys for us that the rest of the uh, goats have uh their babies and they're healthy and the dogs come back